Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. And you worked to set up your QRZ1 radio with the details I gave you in the first video, but now you're back in to make some changes to it. I'm going to show you some things in the RT system software that make editing even easier. This is my file, and everything is sorted by city. But I need to find a particular frequency. And sure, I can go down through here and I can look and do I see it, but there's just such a good chance of not finding it. I'm going to go to edit and find. It's a receive frequency, so I'll leave that field as it is, and I'll tell it OK. And there it is, over in Roanoke. And let's say I needed to change the tone. Save it up, and it's ready to use. There's another way. I can go edit and sort, and you think, have I lost my mind? That's how we got to where we are. We're going to do all channels. OK. Now I'm back in numerical order. 444.275. Roanoke, my tone, 146.2. I can make a change again here. Let's make it fairly distinctive so you can see it. And then I can go edit and Undo sort. Now they're all back in city order. And my frequency in Roanoke carried that tone of 210.7 with it. Now I can save it up and they'll stay in that order. The trick to using unsort or undo sort is not to save. You do the sort, you make the changes you want, you unsort, and then you save. And they'll go back into that order. Once you save it, it becomes a permanent part of the file. One other thing you can do. What if I need this operating mode not to be wide? I'm going to set it to medium. I'm going to click back in here. Notice the black box around the field. Control C. Shift down arrow. This is so much more easily done with the keyboard because then you stay in the column. And Control V. And I just changed everything in that column with just those few keystrokes. So now you've moved on. And you have a new radio to work with. You've done all this work to set this one up the way you want it. And let's say we got an FTM 400, or we got a 3D, we got an ICOM 2730. I can even do this in the ICOM 7100 or a Kenwood. Let's work with the Kenwood. I keep my screen sized so I can see what's going on in both of them. I start a new file in my Kenwood. I come back to my QRZ file. Click on the first one. Control A, which selects them all. Control C. I go to the Kenwood. Tell it where I want it to land and control V. And everything's there. Something you need to be aware of here is the Kenwood is a zero based radio. That means that your first channel is going to be channel number zero. Your QRZ radio is a one based radio. Your first channel is going to be one. With what I just did, everything is one channel number off. If that's going to bother you, let's insert a channel here. Now everything's numbered exactly the same. But most of these radios don't like having a blank for the very first one. So let's just put the calling channel in there, 146.52, something that's allowable for the radio. Set up your settings, set up other details this radio needs and you're ready to go to this radio. 
Let's look at a little different style. Let's look at the FTM 400. And you notice how different the columns are here compared to everything you have in the QRZ1. No worries. The programmer takes care of the likes and differences. This is the FTM 400. And it has band A memories and band B memories. And let's say I want 2 meters on the top and 440 on the bottom. I'm going to go back into my original file. I'm going to do edit, sort on receive frequency, all channels, and tell it OK. Now I'm going to pick up my 2 meter and I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to my 400 and I'm going to paste. That gets all of those taken care of. And I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to pick up my 440 and I'm going to copy and I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to go to band B and I'm going to paste. Now I have two meters in the band A, 440 in band B. And they're isolated from each other. Some people like using their radios that way. And while I'm here, the V71, I want to do the same thing. I want the 2 meters on the left and the 440 on the right. Settings, PM settings, these are programmable memories. They're configurations of the same memory channels. So we'll go to PM0. TXRX mask. Think about Halloween. The mask covered it and hid it. I want to hide the aircraft. 200, 300, and 440 on the left leaves 2 meters showing. I want to hide. 2 meters, 200, 300, and 1200 on the right. So that leaves the 400. File, save. This is a little older style with the programmer. Just do what it takes at the top to make sure you save this. Don't just X out of it. X means to exit without saving. It might be close and apply changes. If it is, that works just fine. Now, another point. We are asked all the time why there are different programmers for different radios. Do you see the differences here? I think that makes the point. So, save them up. Send them to the radio. The V71 does 2 meters on the left and 440 on the right. The Yezu does 2 meters in band A and 440 in band B. And your QRZ radio does 2 meters and 440 mixed together just as you turn the channel. So I hope it helped, and remember, if you think you can, or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.